Oh. Raquel, how do I say your last name? Shalabarde. Okay. I'm going to your refer to you by your first name. Okay. Raquel is good. Yeah. Okay. Raquel. Um, tell me. Can you tell, can you tell the uh, listeners a little bit about yourself and why you're here today in Geneva? Well, I've been invited to do this uh, a side event organized by the Knowledge Economy and the what's the South Center. Uh, to talk about distance education and education and the challenges that uh, the copyright challenges that we have to face in education and distance education. And if you could sum up uh, your advice to uh, uh, some short advice to the, uh, the delegates who are trying to negotiate uh, on the issue of, of education limitation and exception. I mean, what what do you want them to be? You know what. What's really important for them to know as they go through the document? Well, I think the first, it, I think they should um, pay close attention to the current problems we're facing in, uh, the first obstacle we are facing in education nowadays is the, the copyright, right? Because the laws are, the copyright laws were designed or drafted at a time where digital means were not used in education so much. So now we have all these laws which become an impediment to the develop the delivery of online teaching because you have uh, you know you're you're restricted to reproduction or distribution or performance or a face to face acts of exploitation. And when you want to convey the same education and acts online then the law becomes the first obstacle of course then there's the other obstacle the basic obstacle the technology and uh, uh, for instance in spain these last 15 years you know has been a, a huge change in the technological access to online education so once you you overcome the first obstacle with the technology and your country the citizens have access to digital education then the second obstacle is copyright law, or maybe copyright law and that the laws the copyright laws are not prepared to ensure that the same that could be done in a face-to-face -face context can now be also done by online means and I think that the we should or any delegates should think as um, <laughs> any any delegates should uh, address any of the proposals thinking not of today but of tomorrow and I think that we need I was saying it in the uh, conference before we need to give up the adjectives it's it's no use talking about education and distance education or online education it's education no matter what means or what technology we use and that's what we should or you should delegates make sure that is addressed properly today so as to ensure the education of tomorrow <laughs> something like this <laughs> thank you professor is there anything you want to add before we conclude the interview no <laughs> no that'll be all and now it's your job <laughs>